Welcome to today's fantastic tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create the zoom bust effect or zoom blur bust effect or zoom effect whatever you may call it. Something like this you as you can see right now on your screen. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. We can create the zoom blur or zoom bust blur effect in camera also, but we can also create that effect in Adobe Photoshop very easily. So let me just show you how we can do that. All right, so this is our main starting image. So I'll just create a duplicate copy of it by pressing Control J or Command J on our keyboard. And I'll right click on this layer and we'll select the convert to smart object this is very important all right and then we'll go to the filter and select blur and we'll choose the radial blur and from this option we'll choose the zoom option all right and we can manage its center from down or up okay and we can choose the amount how much amount of zoom you want so let's say for this purpose let's say uh, 38 percent and press ok is just the random number all right and once we'll make the process it would be applied as you can see now it has applied but as you can see the center is not on our main subject which is the buddha's statue over here so what we can do we'll just double click on this option and that way this dialog would again open up and then we can move this center over here maybe something like this and we can also change the setting if you want to and press ok and let's see what happens this time and now it is on the main focus all right on the main subject and now it has been created but at the moment we are not able to clearly see our main subject because if we would be able to see something of our main subject that would look really good so in order to fix that we'll create a layer mask on it so we can create a layer mask by clicking over here and then we'll take the gradient tool and from this gradient editor we'll choose the black to transparent gradient all right it is a default one where you will see we'll find it over here somewhere and then press ok and once we have selected it then make sure you select the radial option from here if you by default it is the linear which has been selected but here we are supposed to use the radial gradient option all right and make sure the opacity is 100 percent and now click on the main subject and bring out or drag out your mouse something like this or you can even increase it a little bit more so that it creates a mask over here and it removes this effect from this side so let me show you if i'll press alt and click on the layer mask it will show you the layer mask so it has created this layer mask so that means if wherever there is a black color the effect would not be visible and wherever there is a white color that would be visible so if i'll if to go back i'll press alt and click it on the layer mask again so this is how we can easily create the zoom burst or zoom blur burst effect in Adobe Photoshop. So thank you so much. I hope you liked today's episode. And if you like today's episode, please don't forget to hit the like button. And please do subscribe to my channel because you are going to learn a lots of new things in Adobe Photoshop every week. Because I try to make two videos at least every week. That is on Wednesday and Sunday. Besides that, I would also request you to join my Facebook group, which is called The Lens of You. You can find a link to that in the description section below. And if you want to learn more, you can visit my website, harshwardenart.com, where you'll find lots of exciting deals and you will find lots of resources as well to learn the Photoshop and photography. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you in the next episode.